Hi, beautiful. How you doing? You look spectacular. Ooh. Go in the mirror. Look at yourself. Tell yourself you're beautiful because that's what you are. Ooh. It's so intimidating being in your presence. It's almost a little nerve wracking. Hi, I'm Brad Mondo. I forgot how to like do this. I'm like so weird. Like you're so pretty and it's hard to speak when you're being watched by somebody who's just so unreal. Thank you for being here. We're watching some people color their hair neon today. I am so excited because neon is just like the most extra type of hair color you can do to yourself. And if you know me, you know I like extra things and you know I'm a little extra. Well, a lot of it extra. We had people going neon yellow, neon pink, neon green. Anything could happen today, really. I'm excited to watch these transformations happen. Let's do it. All right, up first we have Lorgia, Natalia, Lorgia, 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 Lorgia. One of those is probably is right. And the title is Dying My Hair Yellow. It is me, Lorgia. Lorgia, that's your name. Got it. All right, Lorgia. You'll be watching me have um, my 100 and millionth mid youth <laughs> also known as. Dying my hair. A mid youth crisis. All right, yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, <laughs> today I'll be dying my hair yellow. Ooh, that's I'm gonna be a hair. process. Will it turn out good? I don't know. That hair is dark as hell, thick as hell, a lot of hells, and I don't think she's gonna get a yellow, but I've been wrong before. First, we have here. First, you clear. What are we using to do this? Bleach. Prism lights in the shade violet. I can get with that. Because I'm trying to, you know, be the blondest I can be to achieve. That's yellow. right. I am clearly trying to fry my hair. Let's not do that. But I like that she said she's trying to be as blonde as can be to then go yellow. That's important because to go yellow, you gotta have some blonde hair. That was rude. I'm leaving that in my video just so everybody else has to feel how afraid I just was for my life. Don't forget about the um, developer. I'm using the 40 volume developer. And I was reading the directions, which I usually don't do. So we have prism lights and 40 volume Develi. Well, this is about to get wild. It says to use a 20 volume developer and I'm like, I'm not really sure what we're doing. Like, I know we're going yellow, but I'm not sure like how much of her head is going yellow. Is it her ends? Is it her whole head? I don't really know what's going on, so. I changed my mind. I am going to be using this developer because it has oil in it. You are gonna wanna do two ounces. Oh, I love that she's following directions. I appreciate that. That's great. That's awesome. And we're sectioning. Yes. <laughs> entire freaking time I wanted to go home even though I already was home I just wanted to stop but I couldn't because I already put the wig on and there was no turning back because I already freaking put it on I have to say she's doing a great job dude this sectioning is phenomenal well it's good it's not phenomenal but she could have taken smaller sections for sure however she is fully saturating that hair with bleach See that guys, that is full saturation. She's getting it really caked on there and I love to see it. And then she's putting it in foils and the foil folding is beautiful. And I like what I see and it's developing. So she put all the foils in. I can't wait to see what happens to her hair. Is it gonna be good? I feel like this is gonna be really good for her. 20 minutes? I'm rinsed it all out. It looks damn white. I have no idea if I rinsed all of it out. Didn't feel like talking. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover. We have this like very dark moment on the top, then to this very orangey moment in between, and then the very white ends that almost look like they're gonna snap right off her head. And she's gonna now put the yellow over her hair. Hopefully that'll save the day. It might be fine because she has that kind of orange in the middle. It might go from like dark to orange to yellow, which is kind of like a moment, but also I don't know if that's gonna be right for her. And then oh, for that. dye, I used two mm. different dyes. The first dye I used was Pravana's Chromosome Neon. Ooh, I've seen, I've used that before. It's really pretty. And then the second dye I used was Pravana's Chromosome Vivid's Locked In, and just regular yellow. And now time to mix it. You need to do one part neon. This yellow, is gonna be so part. yellow. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, put on your head. Freaked me out. Look, look at that. Look at that. That does not look yellow. 
I freaking thought that I accidentally mixed an orange and that my hair's gonna look orange and I was a freaking idiot, but it turned everything turned out fine. I mixed it and it was perfectly fine. The yellow, I feel like it's gonna be yeah, really good for her. Put in the dye. Wow, we love an idiot. Anyways, this part was. This is gonna be really pretty, I think. Like 10 out of 10 would look Oh my god, it's so good. Wait, what? This is gonna look so good. Yes! <laughs> yes! Dude, that looks incredible. Wow, do I like it? I don't know. Yes, you like it. It looks incredible. Like that end to make it seem. Healthier. So this yellow is so good for her. I am actually shocked at how good it came out and also that yellow somehow like neutralized that orangey part of her hair or it just kind of disguised it and it looks so great especially with her natural hair color that is very cool toned this very cool toned yellow looks great i don't know i'm just obsessed with this look i love that she only did the ends and you know it's like dip dyed it's very funky very fun and very fresh and i love it it. This is what I want. Okay, let's move on to the next person. Up next, we have Nazia Maruk. Nasia, I don't know. There are a lot of hard names today. And by a lot, I mean there's been two. Dyeing my hair neon pink and orange at home. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have decided that I'm gonna do something a little cray cray. What are we doing? I'm going to bleach my hair yes. and then dye it hot pink and orange. Ombre. We are just going right for it. So we're going from brown hair that looks like it has been dyed before to then bleaching it and then dyeing it pink and orange. Mm, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. I'm using L'Oreal Quick Blue. L'Oreal. L'Oreal. Ion 30 volume developer. I might even be able to get away with 20, but we're gonna shoot for 30. I don't think I 30 don't is good. I have to bleach my hair one time. Okay guys, and- Oh, uh, we did it. Wait, I'm going to clean up my- Oh, <laughs> we already did it. A little bit, and I'm gonna let this sit for about 25, 30 minutes and then come back. I wonder what she has on her hair currently. It definitely looks like it's dyed over blonde hair. So the 30 volume and bleach might just really lift out top layer of brown color really fast. And she might end up with a very blonde hair. I'm excited. We're about yep. 15. Yep, I was right. Into the bleaching process and my hair's pretty blonde. Whoa. We're getting somewhere. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it for another 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out. And I actually have used- I'm excited. A mixture of the two dilute before to get my peach colored hair um, and my hair was not even as blonde as this I only left bleach in for like <laughs> 20 minutes last time I can't wait to see this look I can't wait to see this look um, my hair just need to be a little bit lighter so I'm just going to leave it for like 15 20 more minutes and then we're gonna, we're gonna color it all right, guys, <laughs> here's a product. I'm about 25 minutes of bleaching with 30. Okay. Um, it's very orangey. Yes. Poverty. Obviously, if, like, if I wanted to go with a platinum, I would wait a week, bleach it again, and then tone um, with like, well, a T. But we're not doing that, I'm guessing. That. I've done like gray hair and everything and used T050, I think it is. It's like a violet color. I really only needed it to be a little bit lighter because the colors that I'm going with are first of all orangey in nature and second of all they're pretty bright. Okay this girl knows exactly what she's doing. It's actually better to not lift your hair to a very bright color before putting reds and oranges on your hair because you want that existing warm pigment in your hair that way the color is more vibrant and it lasts longer. If you put red or orange over very white hair it just ends up fading out really quickly and there's just no point of lifting it that high and damaging your hair even further when you don't have to. I've diluted this pink with conditioner and also mixed it with a little bit of this. So this is atomic pink. Atomic pink, whoa. And this is napalm. These are so bright. I am terrified, but I'm, I'm going not. to mix these up in two separate bowls. I'm gonna separate my hair like this. Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna separate my hair. And then I'm just going to go at the base of my scalp with the neon pink. And then as I go down, I'm gonna gradually fade into orange. That's 
difficult to do on yourself. I feel like I believe in this girl. I feel like this could really go well. Oh yes, 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 yes. It's really very pink. I love that first little application of color on blonde hair. It's so exciting. It's like, here we are bringing life back into your hair and it looks so good. Okay, this is definitely a different look than what she just had. This is gonna be a huge transformation from what she just had. I am psyched about it. I guess we're gonna find out <laughs> how this looks. <laughs> this will only leave on for 15 minutes. She's totally contemplating her whole life at this point. She's like, what the f did I just do to myself? Here is the Oh! I actually really like it. I can't say that I'm disappointed. I'm wow. Now with this and see what it looks like now. Wow. Really anything crazy with my makeup, but I feel like we're gonna do some bright colors today. Just yes. Nothing. So Give me the bright makeup. I do my makeup. Yes, 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 yes. I want to see the full <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> Give me curled hair and some makeup. I want to so see it all. That's <gasps> it for tonight. This is the finished look. I did my makeup. Um, I did some eyeshadow to match my clown hair. And yeah, I actually love it. So me we'll see too. If I'm keep this color for me. We'll do like a blue or something. Next. Oh my god, she looks that's stunning. Not, so that's all that really matters. The orange and pink neon hair was so much better than her brown hair. Like, yes! And it's so fun for me to be able to say that now because you guys used to think that I hated brown hair. Well, the joke's on you because I literally have brown hair now. I don't hear you guys talking anymore. I don't hear you. What? I don't hear you. That was so good. Please keep your hair that color. It looks incredible. Let's move on to the next person. This video is by Mariah Kaylin, and this is randomly dyeing my hair in neon pink at 2 a.m. I wanna just experiment with colors with my real hair, cause after I'm gonna trim my real hair a little bit so it can get healthier, and then dye it like dark brown. So I think it would just look so cute because I would just look so like put together like dark finger waves will be so cute like Betty Boo vibes you know what I'm saying I really want to dye my finger waves a dark color but first I'm gonna experiment I'm excited even though I'm already experimenting with color on my waves and stuff like that but you know I took the fronts off yeah you got some roots going on girl please that's gonna be really hard to uh, touch up those roots at home and not overlap with the existing blonde hair. Well, that's really scary. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I wouldn't do that you guys do though, so that's not saying much. I don't know where the brush is at for the um. Hey, we're not gonna use a comb. No, <laughs> no. All of it is overlapping. I really hated having black roots and blonde hair. Oh no. <laughs> This is the worst way you could have. Oh, I'm getting my roots, which is what I need. So now what's gonna happen is she's gonna get probably like orangey yellow roots with really white ends. And then when she puts the color over all of that, she's gonna get all different variation of colors in her head because she doesn't have an even palette to work on before she puts the color on. Okay, y'all, so I've been bleaching my- Ugh, your ends look like they're hating you. The back and the back is gonna take forever to lighten up. Because my roots are taking forever to just lay in. The plan was to do like an ombre of purple going into pink, but one, nobody wants to um, help me do the back of my head in this house. Well, what the hell? I would have helped you. So I have my colors like planned out or whatever. So today I'm just gonna do pink. It's neon pink and it's from a door in the shade. 140. That'll be really good for her. I feel like it'll really complement your skin and it'll look really nice. I am about to start this process. So my hair drying is not a problem. Her roots are orange. Putting the pink in. Her ends are white. What did I say, guys? I'm getting good at this. Wow, it's almost like my job. My sister said that I could just like pour it in my hair. <laughs> no! Then, I don't know. What should I do? Should I put it in the bowl? Put it in the bowl. No. Should I put it in my head? Should I put it in a bowl? Put it on my head. Put it in a bowl. Put it in my head. And she put it on her head. Great. So what's going to happen if you just directly pour something on your head is the first place you pour that pigment on is going to be the darkest. The pigment is going to sit in that spot the longest out of your whole head and you'll get a slight color variation in that spot. However, her hair is already varying in colors very much so. So I don't think that's the biggest worry of hers right now. It's going to look probably a little crazy no matter what. Oh, it is really bright. They were not kidding when they said neon pink. 
black thing all over my forehead like an idiot. Oh, yo, it's gonna be so bright. This actually might be okay. So I'm gonna go in the mirror and look at this while I'm doing it because I can't film it. That might be a good idea. I love that idea. In the back of my head, I don't want the back to be a total fail. I'll be back. I applied it to the back. I don't know if I got all of it. Oh, with the waves, dude, with the pink. <laughs> I washed it out, definitely came out. Whoa. This was my first color I've done on my finger waves so far. All I did was dye it blonde. I mean, when I first cut my hair, it was red. Well, on camera, it looks hella good. Wow. Your hair is so pink. And it actually looks quite even, which I'm very shocked about. Last night I just went to sleep and I didn't film my outro. I look like a highlighter. You are looking like a hot highlighter. I'm glad y'all know that. Like the favorite highlighter in the pack. My hands are pink. We love that. Wow, look at the finger waves with it. <laughs> yes. But it's okay though because I sacrificed. It actually it's looks, looks fake. Video. It doesn't even look real. You see next and subscribe to me to be a part of my little family I got going on. Oh my God, her hair looks so good. I think it's a really crazy look, but I think it's really fun. It'll probably fade out really fast, but I love the finger waves with the color. I think it really completes the look and just snatches it all together. It looks amazing. Yes, I love it. All right, and lastly, we have Eva Furser dyeing my hair neon green. I've had this hair color for approximately, I wanna say like a month. Oh. Perfect. I don't like blue hair on myself. I like blue hair on a lot of people. That's why I dyed it this color. I don't like it. And um, maybe it's because I have this white streak in my hair, but I just haven't got around to dyeing that blue either. Yeah, something about this blue hair doesn't seem like the most optimal color for you. I feel like it could be a lot better. These are from just like different. I think I bought this one today. This one's 30, this one's 40. I'm sure you can mix them together. I doubt anything will happen. So she's using 30 and 40 volume and mixing them together. So what you can do to figure out what developer is gonna happen with two different developers is add the two developers together and divide them by two and that's sort of the area of what developer you're going to be using when you mix them together so 30 plus 40 is 70 divided by two is 35 so 30 and 40 volume together will create a 35 volume developer. It's a little bit strong for just taking blue out of your hair, but whatever. You could have just done a bleach bath, mix some shampoo and some water with some powder and a little bit of developer and just shampooed it in and actually lathered the bleach for once, guys. I'm okay with that. And then just took the blue out and it, yeah, but we're gonna use 35 volume instead. Okay, these are the two colors we've got. They're basically the same. Oh yes. Hopefully about the same. Yes. Color. Neon green looks so it's gonna look so good on her. I can already feel it. I ended up bleaching it really badly, like just defeated by my own hair and I couldn't be bothered even finishing the roots and stuff. Like this was just a disaster for me. So you know, uh, you know here. Oh no! We have one side navy blue, we have one side pastel blue, we have some yellow roots, we have a little bit of a green spot in between. We've gone this far, let's just cut it, it's fine. Because I was slightly in the middle of, you know, my mental breakdown, <laughs> I completely forgot to actually film myself cutting my hair. This is what they look like right now. So I can show you the reveal, but I just like tied them up and tied them. <laughs> oh no! But it literally looks the same length. No, it doesn't. Okay, that one's visibly shorter. Oh my god, her hair looks so cute. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so now she's bleaching her hair the next day again okay, with 30 volume. The bleaching ran a little bit better. I saw all the patches that I missed last time and covered them up. Also, I forgot to film halfway through. Bleaching. I feel like this is gonna be a lot better. I love the haircut too. It's like right at her chin. It's super cute. The blue is still very much <laughs> standing. No! 20 minutes. Get the blue out. 20. That's quite long. Yo, blue is really hard to get out of hair. Really hard. But yeah, basically what I've done, yeah, if that fails, then we're just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so she ended up just putting the green over her hair anyways. She was like, whatever, f it. If it doesn't work, we're, I'm over it. Which I love that attitude. But yeah, I just used Bleach London, Slime Green, and Color Crazy Lime Green. And I mixed them both together. Whoa. Um, I'll show you the finished result. The green is actually overpowering okay, so just the, the blue. It looks pretty green to me. Whoa, how did she get that to happen? The roots have went, you know, slime green and then these bits are more just normal green. Luckily she was doing neon green, which is a lot of
lot of yellow. So the yellow mixed with the existing blue in her hair and made green. That actually ended up working out quite well for her. The roots are definitely lighter. Finished result. Um, this is a day later. You could see where the blue was because if you look, that's my root. Wait, I love that it's like tie dye oh, though. The white part in my friend, you can see that it's like- She like pulls off the eye at my hair look. Yeah, I'm like really happy with that. Me too. So the haircut, phenom, looks amazing. The multicolored green moment you have going on, I actually really like it, which is surprising. I mean, it's definitely not like a good dye job, but it like works for you. And the green is way better than the blue for sure. Oh my God, yes. I'm so excited for you. This looks so good. You should always have green hair. All right, you guys. So those were all of the beautiful neon hair transformations I have for you today. The green one was probably my favorite. I don't know. They were actually all really interesting and really different and really creative and really cool. And I actually love all of them. That yellow one was really cool. The pink was like, whoa. And the orange and pink one was like a transformation and a half. And make sure you guys check out my two new X Mondo products, Electrified Volumizing Foam and Wave Tech Wave Foam. These products are insane and incredible. Go check out the specs on the website. The links will be right below for you. These are a must have. Make sure you guys follow me on all the social media networks. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok under Bradmondo NYC. And you can find my Facebook page and my Snapchat show under Bradmondo. And then make sure you follow X Mondo Hair on Instagram to stay up to date with new product launches happening all the damn time. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This is WaveTech Wave Foam. If you have dull, lifeless hair, you have no wave in your hair, or you have a ton of wave, but your hair is really frizzy and the wave doesn't stay very well, this is for you. It's also amazing for those of you with straight hair who want a natural looking wave and don't wanna use any heat tools.